Hi everybody, it's your Pilates instructor Alana and today we're going to do a little bit of your standing arm series. So I'm not going to do the whole arm series. I'm doing your hugs, your circles in the reverse, and then your boxing. So that's part of the arm series. It's not the entire series, but I love doing these three together because it more likely these are exercises that can be performed by a lot of levels. So as we know, and I've discussed this in a few other videos, your standing arm springs are traditionally men's exercises. So we have to think about that when we're teaching all different types of bodies that this is a little bit more of a challenging um, series in that just the anatomy of a male supports these exercises more so than females. It does not mean we can't do them. They're just different and they're just challenging. So we're going to do them. So let's come to stand. We're going to start by getting our springs lined up. For me, I'm using my Gratz tower. So I only have one option and that's at the top, but luckily I'm shorter. So that works for me. But if you're on a wall unit, you just want those springs to be um, shoulder distance. So if you're somewhere between, if one setting is lower than your shoulders, I would say pick the one that's maybe just a little higher. Okay. Come to stand. And we're going to face forward. So I like to start, just find yourself in a position that when you lean forward, you can stick that and stay there with confidence without leaning forward and back. So I call it the dance with the spring. You have to find the dance with the spring to where you can stabilize. So maybe how you introduce just this series in general is three times you just lean forward and extend your arms and hold it and then come back in. So that would look something like this. You're nice and tall. You lean forward and you just cue, find the reach, find the reach and the length. So you're stable. Okay, I can hold this and now I'm gonna come back in. Maybe you do that three times and then on the third one, you stay out. Okay, now they're out, the palms flip in and you keep that stability as the arms open and close. So for me, this is as far as I can take my arms before I'm gonna lose it. And by losing it, I mean I'm squeezing my inner thighs, I'm squeezing my seat like crazy. Okay, let's say I did five of those. And you could hold it here and you could come back in and reset or you can stay here and go for the circles. And same deal, the stability dictates the range of motion. So I'm trying to stay nice and stable. Let's say we did five of those and then we would reverse the circle. I'm still pressing my heels down and lifting up through my inner thighs. Okay, I did five of those. Let's say now I'm gonna go for my boxing. So I'm gonna aim my hand right at my armpit or my shoulder. So as I bend, I'm trying to let the hand that's coming in, it's aiming right for my shoulder. Two, and two arms out, and I'll just bend, bring it all the way back in. Okay, so you could do, let's say, five to eight, you know, of your hugs. And then I would say five circles one direction, five circles another direction. And then maybe think for your punching, you go 10, nine, eight. Okay, so this is your punching. Kind of hard to describe, but you're just like this. You try to aim the hand right in for the shoulder, the armpit, that area without the hip shifting. Okay, so again, those were just some of my personal preferences of the exercises that I think are generally appropriate for a lot, a broad, a broad range, let's say, of skill levels when you're teaching a class. So those were your hugs, your circles, and your boxing. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.